There's a lot of tension on the main spring, so I'll let it down. To gain better access, we'll pull out these four pins that hold the movement on. Now the top will pull off. I'll wear a glove for this because there's a lot of tension in here and I don't want it to spin past on my fingers. Right here is what they call the click, and this is the click spring. When you release this click, it's gonna unwind the spring. When I put the key on, you can see as I move the key, the click kind of releases a little bit. With my hand on the key, I'll be able to release the click and slowly unwind it. I'll put my hand on the key, release a little bit of the tension, and with my finger, push the clip back and then slowly wind it back. You can see that I wound everything back about five clips. We'll do the same procedure. I'll pull the tension off of the click and just keep unwinding it like that. You don't want to unwind everything too fast. You want everything under control. I'll take my time and unwind it very carefully. There's absolutely a lot of tension on this thing. Just take it nice and slow. Now we can feel that all the tension is completely off. If I move the click back, the key does not move. If I want to put a little tension on it, you can see as I click it, the click will allow each movement and it'll stop it on the way back.